Hi guys and welcome to Linux Ort. In this video I want to show you my procedure and my setup for keeping my knowledge synced. I'm doing this with Obsidian. Obsidian is a very simple note taking tool where you can arrange your knowledge, handle checklists and so on. But Obsidian has one downside, Obsidian is not open source. So yeah, Obsidian is proprietary, the file formats Obsidian is putting out are simple markdown, this is great, but the rest of Obsidian is proprietary. So I would like to have an open source alternative to Obsidian, but at the moment of time, this doesn't exist. The most similar option will be LogSec, but LogSec is kind of different. I reviewed LogSec for this video, very detailed, but in the end, I can't really recommend you it if you just want to write something down because LogSec is more in knowledge blocks and not in a really yeah, fine document format. Obsidian has this. It feels just like a text editor with some advanced stuff and LogSec doesn't. So for me, I personally would love to see and Markdown Editor, which has a very fast search and some other cool features I will show you in some minutes. We can use Obsidian very simple on our Linux computer. We will come to that point, but how is it with syncing? If I want to sync this with other devices, with other Linux computers, and if I want also, for example, to access this via my smartphone. Obsidian has a self-built app on your smartphone. This is also very cool, but this requires a sync feature, which isn't free at the moment of time. So you have to pay something. This would be completely okay, but for me, it is too much in a dependency of a company for such a simple thing. I don't want to have to. So I just figured out another way where I can access my knowledge base from my smartphone, but also can sync it with my Linux desktop computer. And I'm at 90% the time using my desktop computer for my knowledge platform. So I would say I want to show you, in my opinion, the best option for very fast and simple note taking and knowledge management. They can also work in a team, but maybe if you have a big team, then a wiki software would be more suitable. If you want to see a video about this, just let me know it in the comments. What are we gonna use for syncing? I personally do have a Nextcloud. I guess many people of you are already familiar to Nextcloud. If you aren't, Nextcloud is a open source alternative to Google Drive or Dropbox or yeah, something like this but I'm using my own cloud here. Funny wise, a next cloud was own cloud before, <laughs> but they split up um, many years ago. Um, but here we have a very simple file cloud with all other features, also a note um, feature here, which we will use today. If you don't have a next cloud account yet, you have to whether run your own cloud on your own hardware, or you can also just rent it somewhere. But if you don't have any next cloud account, then maybe sync thing would be a thing for you. Here we have it. I already made a video about this, so just make sure to check it out in the video description if you don't want to use Nextcloud, but also want to sync this between your Linux devices. Unfortunately, this won't work for smartphones because on our smartphone, we are gonna using the Nextcloud Notes app because Nextcloud Notes and Obsidian are compatible. At first, we have to download our software. This is Obsidian in this case, and also I'm going with Nextcloud. I want to sync all my Nextcloud Notes file on my computer so I have them on my hard drive and Nextcloud client cares about the syncing itself. So I have also to install a Nextcloud client. I'm doing this under nextcloud.com and I will download the app image. You can also choose the Nextcloud sync client and also Obsidian from your Linux software manager. 
but I will do it with the next cloud files app image here and also with the obsidian app image. It is just up to you how you want to install it. I'm showing this with two app images here. Now I'm cutting these app images out and I create a new folder called apps and I paste these here. In here, I right click every file and give it the permission to allow executing file as a program also on our obsidian app image. And now I'm adding these both files very easy to our menu. So I right click our menu, select edit menu, and then I can add a menu entry for internet, select new item, next cloud. Um, I select browse at the command and just select this file here for Nextcloud. You can define a logo if you want. We have something on cloud and just select OK. And I also will repeat the step for Obsidian very, very quick. I search for Obsidian because we have a icon for this and I select OK. So now both applications are kind of installed. These are just very small, yeah, portable um, files, which makes using and then really, really good and generous across all Linux distributions. So now we have to connect our Nextcloud account with our Linux desktop here so we can sync our files very easily. But we have to create some files. We don't have any files in this case here in my Nextcloud. So I just want to show you how the Nextcloud Notes app is working. So I select Nextcloud Notes in here. If you don't have this Nextcloud Notes app installed, just head over uh, to your menu as an administrator, select apps, and then you can install Nextcloud Notes. It's just another app inside Nextcloud, but it's official from the Nextcloud developers. So I'm adding a new node, hello world, perfect. And this looks good. I guess I save this one. I just want to add a um, first file. So yeah, this now looks good. If we head back to our files, then we see here our folder, which is now called notes and inside notes. We have a single dot markdown file where um, our note is. We are now ready to start up our Nextcloud sync client. So I open up Nextcloud. Here we have it. I select login and now type in my Nextcloud address here like this, select next and I'm logging in myself and I want to grant access on um, this machine here. So I can close this one and here we see perfect. We can now sync everything from the server. <laughs> These are only 12 bytes. <laughs> okay, if you um, have many folders on your system and you don't want to sync everything just go with the second option. I am deselecting these both options here and I hit connect and then this looks quite good. So perfect. Now everything is done. Just um, check if Nextcloud Sync client is starting automatically. We head over to startup applications. Um, in my case, this is already set. So we don't have to do anything at startup applications. If you don't see Nextcloud, just add it. So now Nextcloud is finished syncing. These are very few files. And I would say we start up our knowledge base, which is called Obsidian for our Linux desktop. I just installed it and I'm opening this one up and then I can select open folder as well. We it can just choose one folder we like and then Obsidian takes it as a in parenthesis, yeah, vault which is just a folder with some markdown files in it. It's completely irrelevant. Obsidian doesn't do anything too special with these folders. So I select open and I'm selecting the Nextcloud folder, which was created of our Nextcloud sync client. And I'm selecting the notes folder here. Perfect. I hit open and here we have it. Now we have a Obsidian knowledge base, which is synced to our Nextcloud. So if I want to create a new file, 
I highly recommend you to get familiar with some keyboard shortcuts. So I'm starting with Control O. For that, I can find or create a note. And for example, I'm adding the note how to subscribe to Linux Ort. Very important. Now I can, um, yeah, just write something in. I can do um, some text. Hello world. I can do some bullet points just by hitting minus then space. And now we have bullet points. For example, open up YouTube, search for Linux Ort and so on. So just like this, we can also define some headings. For example, I can define a heading of the second order. So I type in two hashes here, type in space, and now I can just write some text. This is my heading and we have a heading of the second order. If I want a heading of the third order, I just write three hashes space and this is my smaller heading. So yeah, you can um, very easily create some paragraphs, headings and also some other cool stuff. For example, you can very easily type in commands and you can do this by hitting Ctrl P and here you can select all commands we have. I highly recommend you if you want to create code sections just typing in code and then insert code block, enter, and then we have here something code blockish and I can just define my language at the first line here. You don't have to do this, but it could be very nice because then we have some syntax highlighting and I'm typing in, for example, Zulu apt update. Afterwards, we can also hit copy here because it's recognizing these as comments and I can paste it into my terminal, for example. Very handy. And we can also do even more stuff. We can also link to another document or note. I'm don't using this too much, I'm honest, but if you type in two square brackets, then you can select or search for a node inside your world you want to link with. Um, in our case, only hello world makes sense because the other file are we self. So yeah, now we have a cool link here, which if we click on it, we open up our hello world file, which was created by Nextcloud Notes. We can also do some other cool stuff. What I am also using sometimes is the hashtag function. So I'm personally using this only at the top of the document. So I can, for example, um, type in a hash and then without any space, I type in instructions, for example. And now I can type in on every note I create, for example, the hashtag instructions or thoughts and so on. And um, if I want to see all my instructions, then this is kind of easy, for example, through the search function or Obsidian has also a very cool graph view where we can see how our nodes are aligned together and how they are connected. And also, for example, under filter, we can define the tags here, it is called, and here we see now all our um, instructions which is in our case, how to subscribe to Linux Ort. You can also search for something and so on, but I'm not really using this graph view. What I'm using all the day is just uh, head over to my notes here, just hitting Control O and now I can search through every node um, title and uh, open very, very fast. Some new nodes can create new nodes. This is very handy. Just read through all these keyboard shortcuts. They could be very useful. And um, now I only have a yeah very basic markdown editor with some cool extra features and with a very fast search where I can open up any document in about a split of a second. This is very cool. What also could be useful if you need it is to use the search of Obsidian because in the search you can also search for the content of any notes or 
documents. Just call it how you want. And um, here I can, for example, search for APT and then yeah, we see our nodes which have this inside. So yeah, these are only two nodes. This is very easy. But in my knowledge base, I, for example, have about 3000 nodes. That's a lot. Um, and yeah, Obsidian just works quite fine and is really, really performant also. So you can also um, paste some pictures um, you can insert PDF documents and this, I am not really using these features because Nextcloud Notes only supports the basic markdown. So if we have a look to notes, then we can only see our things like bullet points, headings, and code blocks. The links and tags are not really supported of Nextcloud Notes, but this is okay for me because I'm using 90% the time the Obsidian app and there everything works. And if I have to look up anything else, then these handy features are not really the thing. I'm just searching for the notes and also Nextcloud Notes, of course, can do this really, really good. You can just also, if you don't want to use Nextcloud Notes at a point or Obsidian, you can just go through the files yourself. So for example, on the Nextcloud file manager, this looks also quite good as we see it here. Um, but also if you just want to have a look in your file manager, inside your file manager of your operating system, just open this file and yeah, this looks quite different. This is the raw markdown code. And for every person who just is a bit familiar with markdown can read this file also very, very good. And I guess, yeah, it's also completely okay at this side. I'm not using this method really much, but if I have to, uh, if I want to um, send someone my knowledge document, then I send him often this file because you have just the raw text, that's the information you need. But if you want to export something as a PDF file, for example, um, Obsidian does support this. So I can uh, just head over to the three dots here, more options, select export to file, and then I can define the page size. For example, yeah, letter is okay. And now I'm just selecting export. I can define a file name, select save, and here in our home folder, we now have our, yeah, very simple PDF file. Yeah, it isn't too much, but it does its job really, really good. And this is, yeah, what we need. Perfect. This is my concept of my knowledge base. If you want to access these notes on your smartphone, just log into your Nextcloud Notes app. Just um, let me show it to you. So yeah, here you have it. Yeah, it's just as simple and as easy um, as you think. And um, yeah, it just looks also quite good. And um, yeah, it just supports the features we also see here. But this is okay for just writing something down or looking for some information. So personally, I'm not completely happy with Obsidian just because it is not open source at the current point of time. So I really wish that we will see an Obsidian open source alternative. Yeah, because Logsec has another concept and I personally couldn't get too familiar with the concept of Logsec because you don't really have a single document because all these documents are defined via nodes. And if you want to export it or want to use it cross-site with some other really simple markdown apps, then yeah, this isn't too integrative and not an option I want to use. So sorry, Logsec community. It has really good starting points, but it isn't too flexible for many use cases. So yeah, that's kind of sad, I would honestly say. So yeah. What is your opinion about this? Do you have any knowledge base? This is the knowledge base I'm using for years and I got really, really hooked on it. Of course, Obsidian has some other features too. I didn't show you in this video, but I would say this is the strength of Obsidian. And if you don't want to use Nextcloud or SyncThing and yet just want to sync, your Obsidian and also enjoy the full Obsidian experience on your smartphone, then of course Obsidian Sync could be also an option, 
But yeah, I personally, for such a important thing as my complete knowledge base, I don't want to be dependent on a company I don't have to explicitly. This is my take on this. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel because on Linux Ort we are releasing new videos every week about Linux and open source software. So just make sure to stay tuned and see you in the next one. Bye.